No. You see, the uh, president of the ANC was elected by ANC members. He's a duly elected uh, uh, state president. Now, when there are questions and people are raising issues, he will be criticized, and that we must understand. And the, the issues that you raise, I think that where the issues may well be uh, matters of uh, uh, criminal activity or irregular activities, uh, those matters need to be taken through those particular forums. So the one issue that you are relating about Tegeta is being managed because the public protector had a, a report and there's a process <clears throat> to deal with that. There were other comments that were made by those who were involved. We had the matters going to be taken for review. So I think it would be difficult for me to start speculating on a matter where that issue is in the hands of uh, you know the uh, justice system and make a comment on those kinds of issues. The other issues have been processed and as you know there will have been a lot of views and comments around the issue of Nganda uh, but then matter went as far as public protector went to parliament and the constitutional court. Again I think they, we can have people having views about those matters but in terms of our uh, systems uh, or institutions of democracy those matters went through and were processed at that kind of level. So people will continue to have their views, but the matter was not just left, it was actually processed. So I think we must understand that there would be that uh, situation. At the end of the day, the uh, African National Congress would have to look at uh, you know, issues that are raised in its own research, in its own, uh, in its own uh, uh, internal processes, and then address them as, as they arise. So he's not a liability? No. Firstly, I think you need to be aware that it was a resolution of a National Executive Committee way back, I think around July, August, that we must work towards a uniting a conference, a united outcome, and that uh, all the tensions needs to be reduced. So that is an NEC decision. So if any other leader says so, they are saying so because it was a national executive committee decision. So that is a guide that we all have. We're going to be working towards unity. We're going to be working towards reducing uh, tensions. We're going to be working towards ensuring that whatever uh, contestation it happens, in a way that strengthens the ANC and builds it and makes it stronger, rather than a situation where there will be so much of uh, divisions. Now, if you look back at those divisions that we're talking about, there are certain um, um, precipitating steps that happen. It was not necessary just because of the contest in Pulukwane that you had COPE being formed. This is something that happened after the expansion of President uh, Mbeki. And so that timing is important because it was not necessarily the con conference went and passed. Then this issue arose afterwards. It was not necessarily linked to the conference. The issue of the EFF, um, again, the EFF, there was no contest. All that happened was that there were some people who were expelled, and then out of that they formed their own party. So the incidences are not quite the same. And I think if we want to try and load this onto this coming conference, we need to be very clear that there are very separate issues. But despite all that, the ANC uh, leadership and the ANC membership do appreciate the need for unity, and they do know that uh, you know the ANC works much better, is more effective if it is united. And so um, the call from the National Executive Committee that we must work towards building unity is a call that applies to all of us.